Sound check, 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 one, two. This is the 217 Recovery Podcast with Corey Winfield. And he knows as soon as he gives it to her, he's going to give her his heart to her, too. And we'll have kids and get married. That's too far. Holy shit. <laughs> it is still the 23rd Freedom Fest out here in East Jordan, Michigan. Having it all weekend long. We appreciate them having us out for their block party. But they brought us out and said, hey, talk to the community. Tell them what you do. And I said, okay. And so we just sent Tyrone out. Tyrone, you've been bringing people to us like all over the place, which is great. You're like, hey, meet this guy. Meet this person. Meet this. And that's exactly what kind of need to happen out here. So I do appreciate that as we're doing a podcast. Uh, let me just kind of explain what's going on with this. this is, as Tyrone's listening to me, and Mitch, and you probably can't even hear a word that Mitch is saying, can you? Oh, no. Well, no. Mitch handed me cookies. Yeah. He said, where's the cookies? I found them for you, bro. <laughs> I have to get all up in it. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. Man. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. We're talking about some. See, this is how you handle it, Tyrone. You just, you just point and say, I already got one, bro. And you just keep going. Now, Jeremy, the, the intern slash volunteer, he, he's new. He's a rookie. Uh, he gave his 217 shirt away. So, he wrote 217 recovery on his shirt. It looks nice. Tattoo artist guy. Yeah, yeah. Still waiting for the shirt you said you were going to design for me, but that's fine. Great things take time, man. You can't, you can't rush it. The shirt you said you were going to, yeah. Yeah, you can't hear me. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. And speaking of flying, we're going to fly the drone, Tyrone. You got it with you? Yeah. God damn, man. I know. Winfield. You know what, though? What? I'm scared of them kids there. They they said they want to take over the podcast. Yeah, that, it got a little weird, didn't it? Uh, we're, <laughs> if you listen to the last podcast, the record-breaking one, uh, these these children came up, and I don't know what people heard them say because they were over there, and I, I, don't, I don't know, but the kids wanted to be on the podcast, and we told them it was about recovery, and... You know, I just kind of gave them the what's what's great about East Jordan. One said fishing, one said you know, like playing football. The other one said the sunsets are beautiful. That, and that's that's all great. But then he went back the other one. He he wouldn't say anything. He just kept going into well, I want to be on the podcast. And he just walked by through a few minutes ago, and he was like, "You guys doing that podcast again?" And I said, "Well, we aren't right now." And he's like, "You done?" I said, "No, maybe. Where are you gonna be at tomorrow?" <laughs> I said, well, we're going we're gonna to be, you know, probably at my house in the office. You know, he's like, where's your office? I said, well, Travis City. He said, well, that's far. And then he just walked away. He put my business card down, kind of threw it down like a diva, like kind of flicked his wrist, you know, as he put it down and just walked away. And But he earlier, Tyrone, you're the one who caught it, but you, you, you picked up some vibes when he put his hands on the table and was like, I'm going to be on your podcast or yeah. something, right? I thought he was going to take the mic out your hand there. I know. And see, I didn't even see it coming at the moment he did it. And it's something that you have to process, you know. It's kind of like kind of like recovery, you know. It's yeah. just You see things happening, you got to process it and realize is it right. good for you, is it bad for you. That's right. We see quite a few people out here that are in recovery. Uh, some people, they see our 217 recovery table and they come up. And it's, it's nice to see them come up with this big smile on their face. You know, they're like, hey, man, you guys, what's up? You know, and one guy whipped out his coin. He was all proud of it. You know, he's like, I got five months. I was like, that's great. You know, keep going. It gets better. You know, people keep telling you it gets better. And I haven't seen any. It's early. But you know how you go to festivals and there's always that one guy. He's yeah. drunk, falling all over. <laughs> Beautiful thing is I don't have to be that guy. You know that guy? No. No. Okay. He's black, don't Oh, What? Yes. I, got, I was talking about the other one. Oh, no. no. Point him out. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, uh, I don't even remember what I was talking about now. <laughs> cool stuff. Oh, oh, being that guy. Yeah. You know, I probably was that guy before in my past, and I know I've seen that, that guy quite a bit. And it's just, it's annoying when you show up to a place, a festival, and there's kids yeah. around, and, and some people are partying. They're partying all day, and, you know, maybe they're celebrating something, but then they just kind of let it get too far, and. I so said they're falling down drunk, knocking yeah. people over, yeah. and falling into kids and stuff. And, you know, if you're going to be that drunk, just keep it at home. And, I, and right, again, right. I don't get out much either, so maybe that right. stuff doesn't happen anymore. Right, right. But, but we're glad to have you out here in East Jordan, though, Winfield. It's yeah. Your first time. Yeah. yeah, first time doing a broadcast out in East Jordan, I do believe. I don't think we've done one from your house, have we? 
No. That's a little different. Yeah, right, right, right. But you're out here in East Jordan. It's your first trip out here. Yeah. You know? he, he got a pretty good um, turnout. Yeah, and, you know, thanks to you for, you know, going and getting influential people in the neighborhood, you know, and in the city to bring them over. You know, but we're talking with people, letting them know what the 217 Recovery Center is about. And I know you're going to take some flyers over, but they didn't, I mean, I guess you could take those flyers. Did you see them? Yeah, I seen them. Yep, I've been passing them out. Yeah. And your cars there. Yeah? You got yeah. about, I think you got about like three more up there. Yeah. I like how Mitch brought the brochures that have his face on it. Yeah. And his business cards. I mean, he brought mine too, so yeah. that's nice. Yeah, I've been getting them both out. Both out you know who doesn't have cards here? Oh, let me see. Any, any, miny. Oh, you, you looked right at Adam yeah, yeah, Stevens. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think Adam might have some. I would bet he has at least one in his pocket. But I'm not a betting man, so I don't do that. Yeah. Uh, Justin Burke. Oh, I don't see any of his business cards out here. No, I didn't. But he's fabulous. Yes. Yes. Fabulous. He is uh, he's fabulous. fabulous. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. So and that's, oh, we got a soccer game going on. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a good turnout. And it's it gonna, is. It's going to get even better later. And this is your city. How do you like it, man? How do you like living here? Uh, it's okay. It's a growing city. It's growing. I'm getting to know people here. And and one thing you tell me, though, is like you see a lot of beer being bought and yes. sold here, you know, and there's kind of like, hey, you know, this, this is a place that you guys might want to be. Right. But, you know, when Phil, you almost have to pull the older people over because they think it's a shame or... It's bad to have a nephew, grandson, or alcohol. A lot of them don't want to talk about it. That's, ah. a, that's a hard problem to talk about, you know. And probably because, and this is me just assuming, but they probably feel like that reflects on them as them failing, like failing at being a parent or something like that, you know. Right. But and, it's but but you know, Winfield, it's you know, a, a lot of them don't know what route to go. Right. A lot of them don't know which way to go, but it's a good thing that you came out here. And, but next year, I think we're going to be in a better spot, you know. Yeah, as far as location where as they set us up. Because right, right. they, they had some people that were supposed to be next to us in front of us, and they didn't show up. So I think we, like, by default, will be moved up to a, like, a little better location. And, and that's fine. I just appreciate because, like, just last week is when I was like, hey, can we come out there? And they're like, yeah, yeah absolutely. So uh, that was cool. props to... East Jordan and the Freedom Festival and Shannon, who, who is the one who I was dealing with over the email, put everything together. You know, big thanks to them. Uh, I don't know if they listen. And if they listen, they, they probably listen to the other episode first and then they stopped and they're like, this is just ridiculous. But that, that's just us having fun in recovery. You know, like obviously the record breaking goal was something I just made up just to sound cool. You know, I mean, that's where my mind goes sometimes. So if I can do that to keep myself happy all day, that's what I do. You know, I'm not a big fan of being hot. And I knew it was going to be hot today, so how can I combat that? You know, well, I can make something fun in my mind. There you you go. know, and I created a record and I broke it because I really doubt a there person has go. done what I said I did today. So there you go. Just kind of understand that that's where I'm coming from, and you know, having fun in recovery. That's right. that's, that's what we do, and that. and maybe the other people can kind of look at that and go, wow, like this guy, he's not afraid to say he's in recovery. Right. You know, yeah. like maybe that can help the other people kind of get over that or maybe it's just a generational thing and it'll just kind of phase its way out i'm not sure but that still kind of sucks that it's out there like that you know and people do dumb things when they use drugs yeah that's right and that's just that's facts that's right. you know it doesn't make them bad people right. i mean and not everybody in recovery is a good person either that's you right. know I'll, I'll say that but it is nice to see some people come up smiling faces and yeah. you know you can see they appreciate we're here and look at us they're Adam's wearing a sober shirt. You're wearing a beautiful blue shirt. Yeah, with, I got my name tag. Yeah, you got your name tag on it for sure. Fell, Corey. What? <laughs> the guy fell. See, <laughs> got to record that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, the lady was walking through and running through earlier, and I was like, oh, and it, I was like, yeah, I should have recorded that because in case she fell. But that's not the way I'm trying to live anymore either. Um, <laughs> I'm recovering. I'm having fun though. I was hoping to see Chris Goss. I mean, I just played him in the open. Yeah. I figured because I know he's around the area somewhere over here, and I figured if he shallow vault, yeah, he probably won't come out this way. No, but I figured he, he if he did, uh, that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, but but you know he might come. It's still that time. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of a night owl, I think. Still got time. But yeah. Mr. Winfield, it's good having you out here, though, man. Yeah. It's, it's Thanks for 
having us out, Tyrone, and yeah, helping us set up and getting people to come out. We really appreciate you coming on the podcast and you know talking about where you live and how different it is, but yet how refreshing it is to, to be clean and sober living here. So Next year, Winfield, you're going to get bigger. Yeah. It's going to get better. It's going to get better. Absolutely. Well, we got next fun. week is um your, your town. Uh, yeah, Traverse City is next week, and we're going to be – and this is something that's really cool. Marnie set it all up, and that's something, again, that with the 217 Recovery Center, we want to show the community that we're good at people and that we help out too. You know, we're not just wanting to be welcomed in the community anymore. We want to be welcomed and appreciated. And they say people in recovery, we spend more money at local stores. We give back with our time more. It, why wouldn't you want that in your community? Right. You know, I think a lot of people, like you were saying earlier, you know, get it twisted. They're like, oh, people in recovery, oh, we don't want them people here. Yeah. You don't want people that don't use drugs in your city? Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, you do. <laughs> you know, come on, don't be, don't be silly. But a lot of people don't look at it that way, you know, and we just got to get out there and we're going to donate a lot right. of our time with a lot of our people and a lot of volunteers that are coming through the 217 Recovery Center are volunteering with us. And we're going to get out there in the community and show them hey right. look like we're out here doing good things now you know right. judge me for my past but that's kind of dumb right doesn't yeah, make right. sense i was just looking out there you got the little kids out there dancing look at them yeah it's a collective soul <laughs> song are you a big fan of collective soul tyrone oh collective soul yeah like james brown no the song no. i think it's a shine every one of their songs at least that i've ever heard i think says yeah yeah, yeah. Watch well, his <laughs> about to say it. Now, man, the mango. Burn up, burn gel. That's called gel. He was in the Mall Rat soundtrack or something. Something like that. Yeah. But anyway. Well, Tyrone, I'm going to let you. I know you got some stuff to get to, but I appreciate you, man. And uh, I don't tell people this, especially men, often, but I, I love you, brother. <laughs> I love you, too, Winfield. All right, man. Well, thanks for stopping by. Oh, no problem, Winfield. Have fun. Thanks for listening to the 217 Recovery Podcast. We hope you come back for our next episode.